Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. Today we are here with yet another very informative video through our official channel Pakistan Strategic Forum and the topic of our discussion is Project Azm. Before starting the discussion on topic, we would request you to like and subscribe our YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to keep having all the updates from our channel. Now starting with my introduction, I am one of the admin of Pakistan Strategic Forum. My call sign is Green Antidote. With me, I am delighted to have Antai, who is not only the founder of PSF, but he is also one of our very senior analysts. Welcome to our video, Antai. So Antai, please tell us about Project Azm. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Thank you so much Green Antidote for having me on this very important interview. First of all, I would like to clarify a few things regarding Project Azam. Started by PAF back in 2017 and we are developing basically three to four projects or equipment or machines under the umbrella of Project Azam. First of all, we are developing a fifth generation fighter jet, which everybody knows. The second thing which we are developing is a male drone, which is medium altitude, long endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle or known as male UAV. It can fly at the altitude of 10,000 to 30,000 feet and it has maximum flight duration of uh, 18 to 24 hours. The third thing we are developing under Project Azam is hail drone, which means high altitude, long endurance aircraft they can fly at the altitude of 40 to 60000 feet and they can endure missions as long as 32 hours or in some cases 36 to 48 hours and the fourth machine or thing or weaponry which we are developing a bbrm missile along with bbrm we are developing within visual range missile under the umbrella of project azam now we will start answering the questions asked by our esteemed audience and the first question is, which missiles are going to be a part of Project Azm? When it comes to missiles, PF will try to get their hands on some Western system to be integrated into the Azm. We have some companies like Leonardo and Saab and some Turkish one as well. But again, these all are speculations and the things based upon our experience. Our next question is, is Project Azm going to be a fifth generation platform? Yes, obviously. This is the whole idea behind Project Azam that PF will develop its own fifth generation fighter jet. Our next question is, will Project Azam have an edge-based stealth design or baked in carbon composite stealth design with radar absorbent cloak? Well, there is a high probability that it will be baked in carbon composite stealth design with radar absorbent cloak. The next question we have is, what is the maximum range of the fifth generation fighter jet under Project Azm? Well, it's too early to say that what will be the range of uh, the fifth generation fighter jet we are developing under Project Azm, but it will be 1000 kilometers using internal fuel tanks. Will there be an electro optical IR sensor in Project Azm? Yes, of course, there will be electro optical IR sensor in the fifth generation fighter jet which we are developing under Project Azm. What kind of design will be there in Project Azm? Will it have canards like J-20? Well, my answer to the question is no. The fifth generation fighter jet which we are developing under Project Azm won't have canards like J-20. And one more thing I would like to add here that all the designs right now you are watching on the internet, on the social media are not the final designs of Project Azam. There are five to six designs on which PF is working as of now and nothing is finalized as of yet. Is there a time frame for Project Azam to get completed? Well, it's too early to say. Uh, I really can't comment on that because PF is developing three to four projects under the project Azam, which I have told you. So really we can't give the time frame for the project Azam, but uh, it will be extremely indigenous. So it will take some time for PF to study and evaluate things and apply them. Which engine will be used in project Azam? Well, as per our sources, WS-15 engine will be used. Subsystems of fifth generation jet being developed under Project Azam will be indigenous or imported, for example, radar, EW suit, etc. Well, all the avionics in the Project Azam will be semi indigenous. We can't really say that we will make all the things by ourselves, like the radars, the other avionics, but they will be semi indigenous. We will build some here in Pakistan and we will definitely import some equipment or the avionics from abroad. 
Can you tell us about the number of engines of 5th generation fighter jet being developed under Project Azam? Well, some of our sources are saying that it will be a single engine fighter jet, but uh, some sources are suggesting that it will super cruise means it will have super cruise ability so yes if it has super cruise ability it will have dual engine if no then it will be single engine is there any other country doing joint venture with psc for fifth generation fighter jet well officially psc hasn't commented on it that are we going to take uh, the help of our defense partners or not but yeah obviously we're gonna take help from our defense partners like turkey turkey is developing its own fifth generation fighter jet which is tfx and we have china which is our major strategic ally so obviously we're gonna take help from our most trusted defense partner it's the norm of the day that when you're developing something you have to take the help of your strategic partners so answer to this question will be yes we will take help from our strategic partners there's no ambiguity in that thank you so much anti for this session it was great having you with us before ending this video i would like to request all of our followers to please visit our facebook instagram twitter and reddit page you can find the links of our social media pages in the description box do share like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon this is green antidote signing off thank you so much pakistan zindabad